Hey yo, Wastelanders, Johnny5 Alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor. Hey yo. And welcome back to Fallout 76 Settlement Spotlights Wastelanders Edition. We're bringing back the series. So uh, if you're wondering why this is like episode 15 or something, we did them back in the day when Fallout 76 was a thing uh, a year ago on the channel, and then when Fallout 4 was a thing. So we're gonna be featuring spotlights around the Appalachia, starting with my farmstead. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. Hope you're all doing well today. Yeah. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> And if you enjoy the series and enjoy the video, give us a like. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like the video, give it a dislike. <laughs> and if you guys want to support the show, check out the new join button next to the subscribe. Your support is much appreciated and you get some fun rewards in return. Join Team 5, get exclusive videos every month and all that good stuff. But with that all out of the way, let's get into the creation of the day, which is Johnny Five Alive's homestead. So we always start these things off. We're going to be starting these things off with the location. Uh, actually, Zell found this location for me. I was super indecisive where I wanted to build. <laughs> yep. <laughs> After hours of searching, he shows me this and I was like, fine. This, But then it turned out to be like the best spot on earth for uh, farming. I'm a, and I like the settler kind of build. So we're here kind of uh, near the, well, right beside the Charleston train station. So just below like Flatwoods. It's actually a really good centralized area because we have the Silva Homestead where we can get corn and razor grain from, as well as uh, lead from the Green Country Lodge, lead from the Charleston Fire Department. We have two workshops right beside us and a third up here. So an amazing location uh, with a source of water vendors everything so we'll give you the grand tour here and show off all the features so first thing you'll notice is it's on a tilled field like tilled soil it's actually meant to be a farm so there's all these yeah. like grooves and piles of dirt where i was able to plant my crops perfectly and there's also an npc just working the field chilling here she came with the area <laughs> the soil is it's cool. always a different it's person every time i log in, in but i managed yeah. to get about 40 tatoes and 40 mute fruit just lined up i got a little vineyard going on and uh <laughs> you need mute fruit tatoes and corn to get uh uh, vegetable starch adhesive. yeah and uh, oh, yeah, vegetable starch scraps into adhesive so what about the corn well like i said we just go fast travel to silva homestead for eight caps and there's pr probably about 150 corn 200 corn if you have green thumb so uh in combination with what i have here that's so much adhesive per session right and mm -hmm. uh i had a I moved this camp a few times to get the perfect radius. I placed it just right. And uh, Zal was giving me shit. Like, hurry up and just place it, man. And I was like, it has to be perfect. And it ended up... It's been like 200 caps. Yeah. But, like, the border is utilized all the way around except for, like, this little spot here. <laughs> but yeah. even the barn comes out to here. So it's pretty crazy. We'll show you the backside after. But we def I definitely utilize this little circle area as much as possible. So that's the house from the outside. And one of the nice features, I mean, other than having a farm literally right out front, a farmer, uh, we also have a tractor and windmill built into the actual location itself, which is uh, phenomenal. It just gives yeah, it that aesthetic nice. look. We're near the power lines. We got the power plant right behind it. And we're next to the whole, uh, what's this town called? Born right, uh, Charleston. Yeah, it's just Charleston. Charleston. Yeah, mm -hmm. Charleston City. So I, I feel like I'm integrated into the city, but we have the ashen heap in the background. Just tons of different views and vistas all the way around us. And it just makes it a really scenic, really open, friendly area. It's very inviting. I love it. I really... Yeah. A lot of people travel through this area as well, so... Yeah, I, I end up... When everyone, I'm on a public server, I see a lot of people here. And that was part of the strategies. They fast travel to Charleston. And when they get out, 
like right out the back of the station, they see my house. So what I did is I put advertising here. Welcome friends to Channel 5 Gaming YouTube. Get them to come over and subscribe, find out about settlement spotlights. And speaking of which, if you guys have a settlement, be sure to come join us on Discord. Links are in the description. And uh, you can get talking with me and say, hey, come come check out my settlement. Let's, you know, make yes. a video on it. More than happy to see fun creations. So my vendors are also here too in the backside. And it's nice because I have the legendary uh, exchange. Throw away an executioner's bow. Here we go. Not getting rid of that two shot pistol. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, Maybe you're just scrapping everything. Yeah, no, I mean it's nice, and I love the. You love the that's love the what? The vending machines. That's right. One of the best additions to the game. Not just because you can sell stuff, but it brings people together as well. Absolutely, and you will see that. Like we, I've already recorded a bunch of spotlights. It's a little bit messy. I got to figure out how I'm gonna put them together and how I'm gonna like uh, do the intros and figure. I just got to figure out like a proper system. But uh, we've mm. done about. I don't know, I want to say like 10, and it, you just, it's almost like a soap opera. The people that you see in the first episode end up coming back for like the later episodes. So if you end up watching all the spotlights, you'll get a huge sense of community, and you'll see like familiar faces returning in later episodes, and even now are my friends, and they'll probably be in future videos. Uh, we really made a lot of friends just doing these spotlights, and it's so much fun. I, I, I absolutely love it. So anyways, getting back to the build, this is my warehouse. I wanted to do something with the power, so we got a fusion generator in here, my power armor frame, uh, the uh, dailies terminal, and my camp as well. Yeah, and that's... Wait, I thought I had... Wasn't there a toolbox here? What happened to it? Yeah, I think so. It's gone. <laughs> what the heck? They destroyed it? No, I didn't. Do we have any... Oh, wait. Why is it... Check here. It's yellow if I go into build mode. Do you see that? Uh, maybe it's destroyed. Click on your camp and... Oh. Or... Uh, there we there go. <laughs> How did just that get destroyed? Someone just really yeah, hates tools. <laughs> it's like, you oh, didn't lock your. Uh, Would you no, it's locked. Join my oh. oh, because we're friends. Yeah, we're friends. This guy's the best. He collects junk. He's just as good as a junk extractor, I would say, right? Yeah. But so. it doesn't yeah. take uh, finding a junk extractor location. But if you find a junk extractor location, you build your camp on it, and you have him. Holy good googly moogly, that's a lot of yeah. junk. But I mean, there's so much junk lying around everywhere. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I, but it's a bonus. I, 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 that, I do not regret yeah. having him. So yeah, we got the Brahmin oh. pen. You can only have one Brahmin with, I guess they updated that. Before, I remember I had a two or three in the old game. But <laughs> when they kept on falling off the rocks, the fence is a little bit ugly, <laughs> but it's still cute. Um, it's just I had a hard time with it because of the circle. It's a little bit tricky, made it yeah, messy. So yeah, let's look at the main feature, the house. It's cute, it's a homestead, but I, I tried to use the different build pieces. So we have the barn like undulating out the side just to give it a little bit of color and difference. Uh, I tried going for a half, uh, what do you call it? Like the, there's the full wall and then the half wall just to give it a little bit of extra height. But then on the side, it's a, a slanted half wall. And then we have the uh, just the regular size warehouse. And the way that comes together on the inside is quite nice. I ended up buying the wallpaper pack this week for the atom cycle with my uh, daily weekly atoms. And I really love the way that the wallpaper looks. It's super nice. Yeah, love and it fits with the floor. And it really, that really is a hard, like the floor, uh, if your floor is different, like your mat, your wallpaper won't match. Right. Really gotta pick the right stuff, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So we got some decorations. We got a jukebox, a radio, a punch bowl, you know, some chairs. I obviously want to upgrade my tables and chairs and different things as as I get new recipes. So there will be like small tweaks that I do in the future. Like I just replaced this couch with this one. It was like kind of like mm. one of these-ish. Uh, I think this one yeah. looks nicer. It's more, uh, it's clean. Yeah. So there we go. We got a piano, Nuka-Cola machine. And then the crafting room, I didn't put a door on it or anything, I just wanted to leave it open concept. But I bought these uh, tiles off the item shop, I love the blue on them. Blue's my, my color, blue's my jam, and now with the blue wallpaper, it's my, it's my little blue crafting room. And we have the barn wall on the inside as well, 
which is kind of cool because on the outside it's also contemporary. I had to do like a little trick to get red on the bottom and blue on the top. So I like the way yeah. that turned out. Although you can see the beams kind of in the walls, but it gives it a nice look. So all of our crafting stations, you know, a couple uh, statues and posters. I had a lot more posters and signs in here. Zell made me a frog. It's really cute. It's part of my <laughs> chemistry station. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, I had a lot more decorations in here, but I had to remove them for what's in the bedroom. So we'll go in the bedroom. It's the bobblehead stand. The, each one of the bobbleheads yes. eats into the part count. But apparently, according to the AMA that recently came out today, looks like they're going to try to remove the bobbleheads and magazines from the part count in a future update. So Yeah, that's way better. The, yeah, that'll just clear up so much space for people. You'll be able to build a mm -hmm. lot more. So we got, we got Mr. Pebbles and some cute posters and statues in here. It's a quaint little room. Nothing much, okay. but it's all, it's all what I need, right? It's, it's so definitely not the biggest build. I've seen people go crazy, but it's exactly what I needed. Like, technically, you don't even yeah. need uh, a living room or a bedroom, right? It's That's only no, no. aesthetics. But I wanted those things, and, uh, you know, this is yeah, the like only thing I needed. Yeah, and that's what right. I love about these spotlights yeah. and what you guys will see from the series going forward is everybody finds something unique to their, like, personality and their characteristics. So... Like, my whole thing that gets me excited in this game is crops. I don't know what it is. Like, I like, even if, like, yeah, adhesive is good, but after a certain while, you don't need any more. But I like the look of a field full of crops, like the vineyard and all these things. Like, I just like farming in games. I've loved games like Arcade and uh, My Time in Portia, and, like, I just love farming games. And so it's my thing, you know? And because yeah. that's my thing, you can see that personality coming through in my build here, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll see in other people's creations is maybe they're more military focused and they build, you know, a fortress by a deathclaw spawn or, you know, so yep. everybody <laughs> does something different. And now with the amount of build pieces that are in the game, with the Atom Shop and the increased budget, you actually get to put your own personal touch on things for a change. While I am at the build yeah. limit, I could you really do much more with this? Um, right? I, you can always do more. You can always do more, I mean, but I think what I have is exactly what I want. Yeah. I mean, you could remove like a few crops if you really, really, yeah, you know, and then get going, or maybe if I yeah. if I get some new atom shop items, I might just remove like every other crop. And yeah. you know, and then maybe the bobbleheads and magazines. Soon enough, you'll have so, to decide. Yeah, but it's everything down? that I need. Pick up a I don't, yeah. I don't necessarily sure. need any more. And it has all the amenities. So the big features are four purified water things, and I've already looted these a couple times just making this video. Each one of these sells for four caps each to the vendor if you have hard <laughs> bargain on. Yeah, it's it's so crazy. It is. And imagine if I put, like, I could have got the whole lake full of these if I put the camp down yeah. a little bit more. And then, yeah, so... Isn't there a mix? But we have the aesthetic Mexican. farm features, we have the, the crop field, and we have a train station and vendor right nearby. So I couldn't really ask for more with this build. Personally, for me, it's, like, my personal uh, best. I've made some camps in the past, and this is definitely my personal best. And I don't think I'll come across a place that I would rather build like because farming missed, is my personality. See. So, mm. uh, yeah, I can't top yeah. it. And it's all thanks to Zell. Scouted this out for me. Uh, home sweet home. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than the one in the swamp that I had it <laughs> last year. What's funny is I don't think... Well, maybe I did do a video on it, but we could probably do an updated yeah. video. I'll switch characters and we'll show off the swamp build in a future spotlight. Just so people can see what you're talking about. And I'm actually curious to see what the budget is, because I did hit cap max budget on that. Right? Oh, yeah. So we can mm -hmm. see how much they've actually increased it. Right? Well, I mean, your your Brahmins are going to be gone. Right. Uh, so that already ate up. A bit of a like, budget, but not a whole lot. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it would be fun. But it, that place was just freaking dangerous, you know? Yeah. I think it's also nice to just have a base, like, somewhere where it's pretty safe, well, like here. Yeah, well, with player vending, it it's a game changer on your decision making, right? 
So yeah. like having a train station nearby is ideal because you want people to be able to fast travel to the location. If you're in the middle of nowhere, like I'm uh, see, or and there's Watoga. Yeah, <laughs> or Watoga. Yeah, if you're in somewhere dangerous or in the middle of nowhere, it's gonna make it hard for people to fast travel. Also, if you're building somewhere in like the Savage Divide or Watoga, like you said, there's a good chance that a lot of people are new players. Uh, they don't have travel locations down there. And even if they did, it's gonna cost like 42 caps to travel over there. Well, not a big deal for people in Endgame, uh, a super big deal for newbies. You know, yeah. people are scrimping for caps. So with the Flatwoods nearby, generally speaking, everyone's going to be playing in this area. So going to Charleston Station is really not far out of your way, especially because this area is tied to the main quest line that you do in the first like few hours of the game. So oh. a prime location, absolutely. And one, there, there's going to be a couple things that we're doing to this series that's going to be fun. Uh, and I can't do it because it's my base. But we we always have to check out the shops, and I can show you guys what I'm selling. I don't really know the prices of things, and we're just trying to figure it out right now. But I'm generally sell selling all my plans for like a 99 bucks each, recipes for 49. But I just have a bunch of plans on that one, and then this one, uh, I just have like ammo and things. So I might have to lower or change the prices depending on how they're selling. But some stuff has sold. I made some money for sure. So it, yeah. it's quite nice. And part of this whole looking at what people are selling, I have to buy something from their shop. It's mandatory. But I can't buy something from myself. So oh, I can't wait till we check out my cap. So, I'll so just I can increase buy everything. <laughs> you to son like 3,000 cap. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have said that while you were here. Oh, you sneaky bugger. But the, and, and then the other thing that we do is we end off the episode by rating the creation out of five. This is Channel 5 Gaming after all. So, Zell, you have to give me a rating out of five since I can't give oh. it to myself. Putting you on the spot. Can, can it be because it's us? Can we skip it? Can we skip it? No, you have to give me a rating. What's the final <laughs> oh verdict on my build? It's Team 5 out of 5. A team 5 out of 5. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Political answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. It's pretty good. I mean... No, it's good. I, ju I, um, I just think it needs like a little bit more workshop item somewhere. What just do you mean a workshop up. item? Or some like uh, Adam shop, item? shop. Yeah. yeah. You know, like here in the front and some It, it needs some like something. plushies and things. I'm at my build limit. Yeah. So I, I will, uh, I once I get more Adam shop items, I'll do that for sure. Yeah. Clutter. It needs a, clutter, a little yeah. bit more clutter. It needs a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But besides that, it's a really nice house with all the different angles and the shed and the farm is amazing and i'm, I'm refining yeah, yeah. my rating system and in the future episodes that you'll see i'm kind of just giving a rating of how i feel overall but now i'm, I'm really starting to like take this seriously and take into account location you know what do they have mm. for assets do they have purifiers do they have junk extractors you know uh do they have crops do they have vendors you know all those different things and uh, clutter, you know, the overall build of the house, is it aesthetically nice? Do they put a proper roof on it? There's all these little fun things that we're gonna look into it when we're judging these. And obviously some of these creations, like this is the first episode, so we're running it up oh, almost 20 minutes. There's a lot going on. We're just explaining the series as a whole, uh, but some of these we can blast through quite quickly. So you might see some episodes where we showcase two or three and some of the bigger builds, I found a few that definitely took 15 minutes to explore. So mm -hmm. there, there are, they can range anywhere between 3 to 15 minutes, uh, depending on how awesome they are, you know? And then you have these moments where the people will come home or people start arriving. And I keep an open mic at all times, so things get really freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to start releasing this series, and I, I really look forward to uh, seeing what you guys think of it. So if you do enjoy this Spotlight series, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and tell your friends about it if you have friends playing fallout 76 and definitely come join us on discord if you're playing on pc shoot me a message and uh, a screenshot of your i think we have a room called spotlights so you just put like your uh, yeah yeah you literally just put a picture of your spotlight and tag me and say spotlight me it's called the spotlight request channel yeah so you just throw that in there and we will uh message you back and if we're online we'll just 
invite you to the party. Simple as that. And we'll get this thing going. We're going to revitalize our Discord that we abandoned and bring it back to life. So yeah. come on in and join us. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the first Settlement Spotlight return to Wastelanders. But boy, oh boy, do we have some in store for you. And uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely just... We could do this for a long time. It's super exciting. So I plan on doing this series for quite some time. Boom. Yes. Anything to add, Zell? Are we going to go to your host next or anything? Um, yeah, maybe soon. Soonish. Yeah. Finish it up. Cool. Finish it up. It's almost done. Yeah. Yeah, so he'll be in a future episode because we got a bunch of in-betweens to show off. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me, Zell. You're welcome. Oh, I get a heart. And uh, thank you to the viewers. Let's get a heart for the viewers. Yes. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's all for you, guys. It's all for all you. And you. a little bit for me. I like looking at these things, but I, I've seen this before. I'm tired of this place. Let's go. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye now.